and then comes the very important aspects of building the prototype. So we got the polycarbonate sheets to the right thickness. We started building this sort of prototype by hand. Most of the prototypes are built by hand. That's why they're very expensive and very, very difficult to build and takes more time. And you know, look at the shape. Look at the big slope at the back. Why is that slope so big? The dust can slide off. You will clear away the dust if there's a dew in the morning. So multiple aspects. And then we made the slider. Use of convenience. If it's on the window, I want to slide my tray out and take my food and put my food on it and slide the you know, thing inside. What's the black uh, bottom base doing? What do you think that is? Heat absorption. That's an aluminum plate. Why aluminum? It, it takes it fast, gives back heat fast, right? What about thickness? 3 to 5 mm is good enough. So what happens is I keep it there. During that time, it becomes very hot. And then when you, as soon as you put your you know, vessel, all the heat gets into the vessel. Then we went to a festival of innovation in Delhi. We exhibited our product. People were there from all technology universities and we were discussing and we were showing how you could make a solar oven user friendly. Finally, the whole hallmark was it's user friendly. Now comes the very important issue of pilot production. Remember our valleys? So we now cross the second valley. Now we have to go to the third valley where to cross the third valley is very tough. Pilot production needs tooling, needs small scale development, needs to be put up all over the country and check. I had a student who started a company in Bombay and he's an excellent uh, sort of uh, prototype manufacturer and pilot production manufacturer called Manoj Dubey. So we invited him to partner with us to take this product to the market. He was quite excited. He came down. We explained to him how the product works. He gave a lot of interesting insights on how the prototype will happen, what will happen to the, you know, the, like manufacturing, what type of cost the tools will cost. The large tooling, right? The cost will be very large. So here now we have to worry about cost too. When you go from one stage to another, remember, at the pilot level, your costs are going to skyrocket because each prototype is going to cost you. If your product is going to be 4,000, my prototype is going to cost me 40,000. 10 times the cost of your actual product. So luckily we have this you know, fund from the Design Innovation Center, which we are set up by MHRD. So we're using that fund to develop the next level. So then we had this discussion. So now look at the shapes changing. So then we started going back to the drawing board, looking at what type of forms will make it easy to manufacture, what type of forms will make it easy to, uh, the dust to go away. So multiple presentations in the studio, multiple discussions, and then, you know, that's again Manoj Dubey and his team, and we have the other designers and engineers sitting, and we're discussing how to take this forward. And then we went to the, you know, uh, vendors who make tools. There's a tool manufacturer who does bathtubs. He does plastic bathtubs. Whatever vendors do you go to, you go to vendors who are already good in those manufacturing. So you see these large plastic bathtubs in uh, today's uh, you know, uh, hotels and all. So these bathtubs are manufactured by him. Then went to them and now we started the process of manufacturing. <laughs>